Welcome to my unboxing of the D-Link Amplify. This is what they're calling, okay, no. This is a whole home router 1000. Okay, so what is a whole home router? What they're saying is that for a large home, this is going to provide the most wireless coverage compared to pretty much anything else that you can get. And how are they achieving this? Well, D-Link with their patented sectorized antenna design for superior smart beam performance is basically, and this is their summary, not mine, um, but what they're basically doing is they're detecting exactly where your wireless devices are and they are beaming bandwidth directly to them. Okay. So my understanding of this is the router actually adapts where it is delivering the strongest signals by focusing the wireless antenna at your devices rather than just having kind of that uh, general sort of ho-hum coverage it is sending focus signals to each of your wireless devices in order to get you what is essentially just greater range okay so here we go here's where they help you choose the right product for you so all of these products are good for ipv6 technology with N300 being better for extended wireless for larger homes or multiple floors, and N plus 300 being better for USB share port for sharing devices, and N plus 300 dual band being better for HD video gaming and Skype calls, and then finally we have Amplify N plus 300, which is connectivity into virtually every corner of your home and even outdoors. They have a little one there, so what is what are they wanting about? Um, Okay, I don't see it. Hold on. Let's see if I can find it. Yes, haha, -ha, here we go. Maximum wireless signal rate derived from IEE standard 802.11 specifications. Actual data th throughput may vary, including volume of networking traffic, building materials, and construction network overhead, all that kind of interesting stuff. Okay. Oh, here we go. Think green. While this may look like your average product, it's not. This is a D-Link green product, which is as good for your wallet as it is for the environment. The DIR645 is designed to conserve energy, protect our environment from harmful substances, and reduce waste by using recyclable packaging. Interesting. That's good. I always appreciate that. Recyclable packaging is actually really important. A whole lot of packaging ends up in landfills, and it's totally unnecessary because the entire purpose of this box is to get you to buy it and then to not exist anymore. Aha, here. Here's a little diagram so you can see what their patented sectorized antenna design is kind of gonna look like. So why don't we get this thing opened up and have a look at the device itself. So start here. So read this before installing this. We're here to help. Start here. Put this in your computer in order to get going. GPL code statement. Okay, cool. We've got an ethernet cable. We've got a power brick. Aha. Stop. Insert CD and run wizard first. So this is the strangest shaped router that I have yet to see. But I knew that already before I opened it. Oh, use of this device may make your wireless connection vulnerable to unauthorized access. Oh, basically it's telling you to enable a password on your wireless network, which is very important because people can even do things like commit cyber crimes on your wireless network, which can be traceable back to, well, your account with your internet service provider, which is bad for a number of reasons. Okay, stop, insert, okay, wow, there's a lot of warnings about stop and insert the CD and run the wizard first. So I'm thinking that for this product, you might want to consider stopping and running the CD, the wizard on the CD first before you go any further. And to prevent overheating, remove the clear protective covers before using. So d provides these clear protective covers in order to keep the uh, product from being all covered by nasty, horrible fingerprints before you even get a chance to use it. There we go. Let's go ahead and start pulling those off, because that's what we do on this channel. We unbox products, which includes removing protective film. That is a very shiny router. That's about as shiny as it gets. If it weren't for the distortion, I'm sure you could see slick very clearly right about now. So let's just take that off. And what all do we find on this router? So the antenna is actually in here, is my understanding, based on the diagram. Okay, we've got a uh, web indicator LED, wireless indicator LED, WPS button, and a power button. 
That's funny, you don't usually see a power button on the front of a router. Very strange. Okay, we've got a D-Link logo right about here. On the back we find one, two, three, four. These are gigabit Ethernet ports, if memory serves. Yes, they are. Four gigabit ports as well as a WAN port. So then we've got power in as well as USB. So USB allows you to use a uh, any USB storage device in order to share files on your home network, which is a really handy feature for routers to have. That way if you have very simple file sharing needs and you just want to, you know, sh well, share a couple files simply on your network, you plug them into your router, no big deal. You don't need any additional devices. Uh, finally on the bottom we find our reset switch. I was looking for that. I couldn't figure out where it was. And I think basically that's about as far as I'm going to be able to go in this unboxing because until I can give you guys some concrete sort of evidence that this provides better coverage and you should stay tuned on the NCIX comm channel for that to be upcoming then I can't tell you guys whether their new antenna technology works or not but what I can tell you is that we haven't seen a whole lot of advancement in terms of antennas on home wireless routers in the last 10 years basically we'll see like more or like taller ones, but it's all the same basic thing. So this seems like if it works, it could be a huge step forward in terms of building better wireless networks for your homes. So I'm really looking forward to testing it out and we'll be doing that here in the Tech Tips room and probably across the parking lot if the range is anything like what they're saying it's gonna be. And I'm very, very excited. So thank you for checking out my unboxing. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. And big thanks to D-Link for letting us check this thing out. I'm very curious to see how this goes.